You've got something that's more dangerous than COVID. You shut the world down with COVID for this one. You're like, eh, who cares? Hey there, Coach Devin here. Okay, I wanna talk about something that's a little near and dear to my heart, which is exercise. Uh, but I wanna talk about it in a slightly different manner. So, I did some research yesterday. I read an article on the news the other day. I'm a bit of a news junkie. Love the news, I like reading about the news, I like everything to do with the news. I just, I'm a bit of a news junkie. I like it, I read a lot of different channels. Uh, for those of you who think I'm left wing, uh, I read Fox News too and those of you who think I'm just right wing, well, I also read CNN and MSNBC and CBC and CTV. You name it, I read it. And I like to read it because I want all kinds of information because to me, I make decisions based on the information that I have. And the better you have both sides of an argument, the better you can have information. All right, so read an interesting article about COVID. COVID being the number three uh, cause of death in the United States in 2020. And I thought, that's interesting. I wonder what number one is. Number one's heart attacks. And what number two is, is cancer. And then I thought, okay, well, let's, let's, let's think about things for a minute. And I said, okay, what? So I looked up, all right, how many cases of COVID there were that caused fatalities. It was the main case. Reason somebody died in the U.S. in 2020. The number is 345 and change thousand, which is a lot of people. Now, I'm going to clear, I'm not going to be one of those COVID deniers, right? Uh, I, I, I'm going to give you real facts. So there are 345 and change thousand people uh, who have died with the major contributing factor being COVID. For heart attack, when I looked that up, 390 and change, sorry, 690 and change. 690 and change compared to 345 and change. That means heart attack killed double the number of people that COVID did. Now, I'm not gonna get into a whole COVID rant because you know, really, you don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna talk about it. But I will say this, this is something that struck me as being super interesting because look, we shut down the world. We shut every business, we sent everybody home, we you know, went crazy, we wouldn't let people go to parks, we wouldn't let people leave houses, all kinds of things for COVID. Whether that's a good idea or a bad idea, I don't really wanna get into that, I don't really care. But we did all those things. There was a worldwide response, okay, to COVID. Incredible outpouring. I mean, they created vaccines. They did all kinds of crap, right? And we, and we did a, mobilized everything for COVID. Heart attacks kills double the number of people that COVID did. Now, let's talk a little bit about heart attacks. And I think, you know, what heart attacks, a little bit of a near and dearer topic for me. My mom died of a heart attack uh, almost four years ago, a little over four years ago. My mom died of a heart attack. So, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, that strikes home for me a little bit because of the fact that it, you know, it has a very personal, uh, up close and personal thing for me. Okay, so if, if heart attacks kill so many people, well, let's, let's break down a few things that interesting about heart attacks in comparison to everything else out there. And I'm not talking COVID because again, I, I don't wanna get into that. You don't wanna listen to it. I don't wanna talk about it. Heart attacks, number one, completely preventable. The three major causes of heart attacks are lack of exercise, bad food, stress. All those things are fixable. Every single one of those things is fixable. You can exercise more. I talk about this all the time on YouTube. Like, do more, do exercise, it's important. Take care of your body. That's the number one thing and you can do that. You can take that right off the top. All you have to do is exercise three to four times in a week, your heart's gonna be stronger. Not real hard. And we're not talking, you know, two hours of exercise, 30 minutes of it, three to four times in a week will drop your chances of having a heart attack significantly. So that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it shouldn't be rocket science. Number two, bad food. Stop eating McDonald's and junk food and Tim Hortons and I don't know, Jack in the Box and what else out there? Fried chicken or whatever. Eat more healthy food. Look, those of you who say out there, well, I don't know what to eat. I understand it can be very confusing. It can be hard, right? It seems like a lot of information, but we all know that fruits and vegetables and leaner cuts of meat are more healthy for you than eating fast food. So stop eating fast food. In reality, you don't even have to stop eating fast food. Just cut it the hell down, cut it down. 
That's all you have to do. Don't eat it every day. If you don't eat it every day, you'll already be ahead of the game. So it's not a hard one to do. Exercise a little bit more. I'm not asking for much. What, an hour and a half, two hours out of your entire week? What's that, 4%, 3% of your whole week? You, you spend more time on Netflix, guys. You spend more time on Netflix, you'll be fine. And YouTube and streaming and everything else. I mean, look, you're watching me right now, right? <laughs> So you can exercise more. You can eat differently. We all know that fruits and vegetables and how leaner cuts of meat are better for you. Don't eat until you're stuffed. That's another easy one. Just don't get absolutely stuffed. Tra you don't have to track your calories. I mean, obviously, best case scenario is you do track your calories. But if you don't track your calories, guess what? It's not the end of the world. Don't eat until you're stuffed. Eat until you're satiated, until you're full. Slow the hell down. Stop stuffing the food in your mouth. It'll cut your calories down. Cut 10%, 12%, 15% off your plate. Just give yourself a little less food. You'll be okay. It's not the end of the world, and it's not hard to do. Stop eating super sugary stuff or cut it down. Again, everything within reason, right? If you do it within reason, within moderation, it's like having some drinks. Having two or three drinks, not a big deal. Getting smashed every night, big problem. This stuff isn't rocket science. So that's number two. Number one's exercise. Number two, eat a little healthier. Number, you're going to drop your chances of heart attack significantly. Number three, cut your stress level. If you are stressed to the max each day, every day, stressed right the hell out, losing your mind, stress, bad for you. You know this. You know it. You know it's bad for you. If you do it, you're going to have problems. You're going to have issues. Cut your stress level down. How do you get your stress level down? Yoga, meditate, exercise. Pretty easy, right? You actually can cut your stress level by exercising. So you're killing two birds with one stone. It's not a, you know, we don't really want to kill anything, but you understand what I'm saying. You can kill two birds with one stone. You exercise, not only will it make you more healthy and less likely to have a heart attack, it also will cut your stress level down. It's a win-win. It is a win-win. So look, heart attacks being the number one cause of death in, in the US in 2020, well, there's three easy ways to cut those down and have fewer heart attacks. Look, we did a lot for COVID, guys. We did a lot. We, we all went home. We all wore masks. We all socially distanced. We all shut our lives down. We did all that stuff. We're all like, yeah, great, let's do it. And that's all okay and fine and good. I'm not criticizing that. What I am saying, though, is if you're going to do all those things, then let's get rid of the big dog right? The thing that's killing more people, double the people, is heart attacks. It's double the people and it's preventable. I mean, when somebody says, well, but heart attacks, you know, what are you going to do about a heart attack? Somebody actually said that to me, but what do you do about a heart attack though, Devin? You catch COVID. I'm like, but a heart attack is completely preventable if you make a decision. It's completely preventable. Actually, COVID less preventable than heart attacks because COVID, you can catch it with a mask on, you catch it all kinds of different ways. Heart attacks, you don't catch them anyway, but you making bad decisions. That's all it is to it. So if you institute those three things, three things, that's all I'm asking you to do. Institute more exercise, eat more healthy food and less of it, and cut your stress level down a little bit by in some ways exercising. Guess what? Your risk of heart attack just went down. Look, we can all do this. And this is a shame that the government and people in general are not taking this on more aggressively because let's get let's boil it right down to brass tacks for a second let's get serious that's kind of a weird analogy i, I don't even think i use that right but who cares what's important here is let's boil it right down to what really matters if we're all going to go home with covid because of covid and we're all going to stay in our houses and we're all going to wear masks and we're all going to social distance and we're all not allowed to travel but we're not going to change anything on something that kills way more people double the people what the hell are we doing? What the hell are we doing? It's okay to do that stuff for COVID, then it's gotta be okay to institute some of those things around heart attacks. We, I guarantee you, we can cut heart attacks by half or more, and we're talking deaths by heart attacks, okay? These are deaths by heart attacks by at least half or more with some simple changes to lifestyle. Hello, government, where are you? Why are you not pushing this? Hello, why are you not doing something about this? If COVID is so bad, which let's be honest, it killed lots of people, it's bad. Something that is double as bad as COVID and does it every year, why aren't we doing something about it? 
Come on, it's not hard. This is not rocket science. It's not challenging. If I can sit here in my gym and come up with these facts and go, wow, that actually seems like a pretty easy fix. Why are we not doing that? Why are people who are a lot smarter than I am not doing it? I'm talking to you, government. I'm talking to you, leaders. I'm talking to you, doctors. Everybody out there, come on now. Think about it for a minute. It's not hard. It really isn't hard. You've got something that's more dangerous than COVID. You shut the world down with COVID for this one, you're like, eh, who cares? Doesn't make sense to me. Simple lifestyle changes, guys. That's all it takes. You're gonna cut your risk of heart attack down. You can cut your family's risk of losing you down. Listen, if you're willing to do all those, all those things for COVID that you're willing to do, take some time, some energy, and cut down some of your own risk factors for COVID, because you know what? If 345,000 people dying, which is a big deal, if that's important to you, then heart attacks should be just as important. You have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't forget to be awesome.